All right, today's lesson is going to be on screwdrivers. We're going to be talking about some of the different uh, tools available in a woodworking environment, manufacturing shop. Uh, you can see we got a tool panel here, but today we're going to be specifically talking about screwdrivers. So what are screwdrivers? Well, scri screwdrivers turn screws. What are screws? Screws are a fastener. And here's an example of one right there holding that uh, wrench cutout on. Um, yeah, so what do they do? They allow us, they give us mechanical advantage, and they allow us to turn a screw. So if I was to put that into that socket there, I can tighten, or I can loosen this screw. So, great, fantastic. Parts of the screwdriver, handle. Handle can be made of various materials, sometimes soft rubber like this, rubber coated, hard plastic, wood, um, not very many metal handles, but they're, they do exist. So uh, the other thing about screwdrivers is the type of screwdriver it is that will you focus. Uh, there are, you know, there's lots of different kinds, oddball ones, but the standard ones that you're going to run into uh, mostly are, this one here is a square tip or also called a Robertson and uh, invented by a Canadian. Look it up on Wikipedia. Google, whatever you got. Uh, this one's a square tip, so Robertson. Comes in different sizes. This one is a red handle, a number two. Okay, it's a number two Robertson. Green handle, that's a number one. Smaller tip, smaller screws. And then there is the yellow one, which I'll grab this one here. Yellow handled Robertson, it is the smallest one. So, um, yeah, we have that. And again, you know, different brands have different handles, different configurations, but a red-handled Robertson will always be a number two, a green-handled Robertson will always be a number one, and a yellow-handled Robertson will always be a zero. So, what are some other kinds of screwdrivers that we run into typically? This was one of the first ones ever invented. I'll pull that out of there. Again, same kind of plasticky handles, rubber-coated, but this one is a flat tip. Flat tip screwdriver, standard screwdriver, slotted screwdriver. Not the best, but great for prying open paint cans, uh, lifting things off. Not great for screws, unless you have that kind of screw to deal with. Oh, here's one here. These are called stubbies. They're for getting into smaller, harder to reach areas, but again, they have the standard kind of tips on there. Um, so we've talked about the Robertson, which is the square. The slotted, which is the straight, and then uh, one of the last ones that's the most common is the Phillips. That may not be focusing that great. Try that. Oh, anyway. Let's see what we can do here. Maybe we can. Oh, oh, figuring this out. This is a Phillips, also called the Star Drive or the Robertson Drive. Uh, Phillips was invented by the Americans, a guy named Phillips. Again, same kind of handles come in the same kind of sizing system, but they do not use a color code. They do not use the color code. Um, and then there's a few other kinds here too. There's one called a Torex, and they're kind of a star-shaped one with uh, six to eight points. And uh, yeah, those are the standard ones. I'll just go over quickly to the board over here and just show you markers in my pocket just quickly some of the ones that we were just talking about there where's my camera oh we're gonna go we're gonna zoom back out because it's just too big screw head if you're looking at it from the top like that first one there you're gonna see is the Robertson so square tip square drive um, it's not necessarily called Robertson anymore in a lot of the world because the patents have expired, but uh, Robertson, Square Drive, those are two of the standard names for it. Then there is the Phillips. And that is that plus shape. So your screwdriver, fit, screwdriver tip fits in that plus sign, and then we can, you know, we turn the screw that way, we turn it clockwise to tighten. And then we go 
counterclockwise to loosen. So one of the best things you'll ever learn from me or any kind of industrial arts teacher is lefty loosey, righty tighty. Remember that. Trying to loosen something, take some apart. Typically that's the way we go. So we talked about the Robertson, we talked about the Phillips, and then there's the old slotted. And that one is just straight across. And the screwdriver tip will fit in there. Bad thing about this is Typically, the screwdriver tends to slip out, gouge the wood, gouge the metal, whatever you're trying to do. It's not a great system because it, your screwdriver can slip out of either side. It's not locked in like the square one or the Phillips. And then, you know, there's a couple other ones. We talked about the Torx, which is more of a star-shaped pattern. I'm a terrible drawer. Again, can lock in like that. And then there's one of the last ones that we typically use a lot of is the um, Allen key or hex key. Now, when I say hex, what do I mean by that? The word hex means six. So you will have a screw pattern And you'll have a six-sided uh, slot for your screwdriver. Allen key, hex key, same thing. All right, short one today, six minutes, just going over some of the tools that we have available to us. Um, look forward to this week seeing some other, uh, some other tools that we're going to talk about and how they work and what we do with them. So remember, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty, Robertson, Phillips, slotted, and we'll go from there. All right, good seeing you all. And uh, we'll be checking in soon. Hope your bridges are coming along. Hope your hooey sticks are coming along, whatever you have to be working on. Um, these videos won't be course specific, um, but good knowledge for everybody. All right, have a good day.